Well, guys, the time has arrived. A lot of you who have been watching some of my recent videos would have noticed at the end of them, I talked about a giveaway I wanted to do. Now, I actually got this stuff for this giveaway many months ago, but kind of decided I wanted to do Christmas. So, well, here we are. I was going to launch this on Christmas Day, but I figure, hey, Christmas Eve is good enough and we can get stuck in. So, this will be an opportunity for you all, very easy opportunity, to uh, win some stuff to do with Guild Wars. Uh, let's roll in. Now, for starters... Uh, one of the big things I have is 12 physical copies of Heart of Thorns to give away. All right, now, so the fact they're physical is fairly interesting. I think they're pretty basic boxes. They're still in the cellophane wrap. It's like you would have just got them out of the shop. They're covered in this kind of cardboard, I guess. It's making me realize how long it's been since I physically bought a PC game. In fact, for Heart of Thorns itself, I don't remember buying a physical copy. So I quite appreciate having one. Uh, if you remember back when HOT came out, one of my criticisms was that there wasn't a physical collector's edition. And I guess the same is true for Path of Fire. But at any rate, I have 12 of of these. Now, obviously, a lot of you are going to be thinking about how you already own Heart of Thorns. I suggest that probably most of my audience is in that place. Well, do remember, even if you already own it, it should be of interest to you. It's worthwhile having new or multiple accounts of Guild Wars. You get to get login rewards very comfortably. You get to do multiple dailies for easy gold every day. You get to set up a second account on the alternate region. So if you're a North American player, you set up on the EU. If you're an EU player, you can set up on NA. That allows you to raid on the other region. You can basically double raid or you can do more fractals. You can play with people you wouldn't ordinarily join guilds that you'd otherwise feel locked out of. A lot of the time, say, when I'm producing content, Content. People want to play with me and it's only to find out that they're on the wrong region. Well, if you get two accounts, that's not a problem. And it's Guild Wars. It's not hard to get set up at level 80 again and in exotics and working your way towards various ascendants that you can easily play any content in the game. It's really not like other MMOs where it's like, oh, I need a 200 hour investment to get set up. No, no, no. It's pretty comfortable. You just need the other account. It's also obviously an expansion. So this wouldn't just be like a basic account. It would be an expansion account, which means you would get access to masteries and all that good stuff, elite specializations. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is if you remember, ArenaNet changed their business model this year so that if you own POF and expansion, you actually just have everything and you can get into Icebrood Saga. I wonder if that works in reverse. If you have just this Heart of Thorns account, do you get into Icebrood Saga? Do you, you probably don't get mounts and all that stuff, right? But I thought they were moving into a place where they just wanted you to be either an expansion owning account or a non-expansion owning account. I guess some of you winners will have to let me know what your new HOT accounts look like. But that could be quite interesting. Another couple of benefits I've been thinking of, obviously, as I've been PvPing a reasonable amount this year is you can obviously ladder climb on the other region. You can do it with elite specs. There's a lot of people who like to PvP on the alternate region, but they only get free-to-play accounts. In fact, I was playing tournaments with a dude who could not do anything but free-to-play for ages. Well, if he got a free Heart of Thorns, that wouldn't be a problem. A lot of really strong specs are on HOT. So I think the benefits of multiple accounts are well logged at this point. Uh, you could even give the box to a real-life friend, whatever. That is one part of the giveaway. 12 physical copies of Heart of Thorns. Now, also, and for me as a geeky geek, this is the more exciting bit, I think. I have a small selection of new Guild Wars 1 skill pins. Now, you may remember I did a video about these many months back. I was absolutely giddy to have acquired a full collection to show off. Uh, you can check out that video for more details if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But basically, they're very rare, very old, very special Guild Wars merch. Little metal pins that not many people have. And I'm going to be giving some of these away. So the way this will work is at random, I will sneak pins into some of the winner's packages with their Heart of Thorns. So some of you will get a double prize. Which exact pin you'll get is going to be a mystery. But listen, they're all different that I have here. They're all in their original packaging and all that stuff. They're not the easy peasy, super common collector's editions pins. They're all good pins and I'll be filtering those out as well. Now, one snag before you all get too excited. I'm not going to be able to ship these boxes all around the world. It's going to be too much hassle. It's going to be too much money. And I'm definitely not going to earn any money on this. So here's the situation. Any of you can enter this and you can win the game in expansion. But if you're outside of the UK or Europe, what I'll be doing is sending you a code for the game. 
Uh, and you will still win it, but there's not going to be a chance for the skill pin on that. If you're in UK or Europe, I will send you the box free of charge, yada yada, and you get in for that bonus thing. That's the way that I'm going to have to do it. I'm really sorry, guys. Hope you can all understand. To enter the giveaway, it's nothing special. Winners will be notified by New Year's Day. And all I'm asking you to do is just drop a YouTube comment right on this video with something worthwhile to read. All right, I don't just want some random one word thing. I want it to not be spam, something real to read, okay? People who just spam won't get anything. So it can be discussion point about Guild Wars 2 that's on your mind. Maybe I haven't addressed yet over the year. It can be about your life. It can be about the channel, whatever you want. As long as it's worth the space, as long as I don't feel like I wasted my time reading it. If you've managed to do that in a comment under this video, uh, you're in for a winning chance. Make sure you add your account name as well. Uh, as it's through in-game mailing, I'm going to be contacting the winners. I had a bit of a problem with that last year. And that's it. I'm not asking you for likes or subs. I'm not asking you to visit my second channel or Twitch or anything like that. Just leave a comment and make it worthwhile. So, there you have it. Hopefully this is fun. Uh, hopefully it all goes well, just like the last Christmas giveaway did. And that's about it, guys. If you two, I will say, though, are in a particularly giving mood, I probably should uh, take a second to remind you that I am on Patreon. I don't think I've mentioned this all year. Uh, I don't know. I really don't like pressuring people about it. But, look, on Patreon, I've lost a considerable amount of support over the year, probably because I never mention it. Uh, so please feel free to check out my Patreon. That is the most meaningful thing you can do if you appreciate my content even in the remotest way and you have the remotest little bit of support you want to do. Please, please, please just go have a look at that and uh, that would make my Christmas extremely uh, good if a few mo more people, just a couple, uh, took that time. There's a link in the description of this video for that and in all of them. To be honest, all the links associated with me whatsoever are in there except maybe the, uh, the website I made. Uh, in addition, uh, while many of you, I'm sure, have more exciting things to do, it is Christmas Eve. Uh, I'm going to be doing an extra length mega stream of uh, Guild Wars 2 Master today for all the lonely hearts out there. So I will be live most of the day. Uh, you can find a link to me, guess what, in the description again. And you can join in on the holiday spirit if you want to just chill out, watch some Guild Wars, have fun, talk to me about whatever uh, for the majority of Christmas Eve well, uh, I'm going to be live. Probably by the time you see this video, I'll be up, so you can check that out. I've got a huge amount of legendary collections to do, which I want done for the account tour at the end of the year. That'll be sometime next week. They're all at T T3. They're all pretty interesting, so it should be fun. It's not going to be mindless, repetitive stuff. We're going to be doing different objectives each time, and uh, that'll be it. So many thanks, guys. I have a lot of exciting stuff to show you about the channel very soon, but for now, Merry Christmas, the best of luck to you, and thanks for watching.